It's a girl, Shauna J. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. So appreciate you guys stopping by. And today we are gonna talk about Bath and Body Works versus Victoria's Secret. Before we jump right into this video, I want you guys to tell me, go down below in the comments. Let me know if you are Team Victoria's Secret or Team Bath and Body Works. And I want you guys to choose one. There has got to be a store that you prefer over the other. When you walk into Victoria's Secret and when you walk into Bath and Body Works, it's obvious that you get a different vibe from both stores. For me, Victoria's Secret is way more like girly and feminine. Bath and Body Works is a little bit more down to earth. And I kind of feel like they're a little bit more versatile. If you go into Bath and Body Works, chances are you are gonna find something that you like because they tend to a lot of different people but anyway guys just wanted to put that little bit of information out there so what do i want to achieve from doing this video well today we're going to determine who did it best so we're going to determine who did the best vanilla fragrance who did the best apple fragrance the best amber fragrance the best pineapple fragrance the best sweet smoky fragrance i mean we have a lot of fragrances here and i'm gonna start off with the first uh set which is the best vanilla now i think the most popular vanilla fragrance from bath and body works has to be warm vanilla sugar and the most popular vanilla fragrance right now out of victoria's secret has to be bare vanilla now don't get it twisted the best vanilla fragrance to ever come out of victoria's secret is vanilla lace but we're not going to talk about vanilla lace today only because it's discontinued so what's the point right but let's talk about these two fragrances first of all they're very different from each other but like i said they are the most popular so we're gonna put them head to head to determine which is the best a warm vanilla sugar is the first vanilla mist i ever added to my collection i think it's just so beautiful and i do think it's a good gateway vanilla because it doesn't do too much especially if you are sensitive to sweet sugary scents it's a very light subdued type of scent and i think it fits into any environment it kind of reminds me of rice pudding in a certain way that's what this one reminds me of it's a beautiful scent now bare vanilla is also a very intoxicating pure vanilla scent and i know a lot of people really really like this scent the vanilla note in here is beautiful it definitely gives vanilla extract but what's so special about bare vanilla is that cashmere woods it gives it like this woody type of vibe now they both perform nicely in my opinion i do not have an issue with any of these mists uh lasting or anything like that but i must say if i was to recommend either one i would recommend a bare vanilla it's just it's like top tier vanilla it is so good and i think it smells a little bit more modern than warm vanilla sugar both beautiful fragrances but if i was gonna deem one to be the perfect vanilla or the best vanilla fragrance right now i would say bare vanilla beats out warm vanilla sugar just my opinion recently i've been noticing that adding smoke to sweet fragrances is a thing and of course bath and body works and victoria's secret both do smoky sweet fragrances very well in my opinion the best smoky fragrance out of victoria's secret right now has to be star smoked amber and from bath and body works we have bonfire bash now bonfire bash is sweet creamy vanilla was with a smoky background Round. meanwhile star smoked amber is amber marshmallow with a smoky woodsy background i do prefer bonfire bash that sweet vanilla note is just so beautiful and it goes so well with the woods and the smoke star smoked amber is really good but in my opinion sometimes this one could pull a little bit too spicy even though it doesn't linger for too long but i would have preferred if it wasn't there so i think bath and body works does the better sweet smoky 
fragrance okay guys so we are pretty much aware that bath and body works and victoria's secret both do their own little rendition of more popular fragrances in this case we're going to be talking about leap by ysl which is a very popular scent that scent is dominated by lavender and orange blossom beautiful classy fragrance now both victoria's secret and bath and body works has their own rendition in the case of victoria's secret they have harvest moon gaze and in the case of bath and body works they have fairy tale now which is better now in my opinion i think harvest moon gaze is better only because i think it smells just a little bit more similar to the original leave it just smells like a lighter fresher airier version but it does smell like the original leave now fairy tale does smell like leave also but it's a little bit more sweet and it's a little bit more dense now here's the kicker i do actually wear fairy tale way more than i wear harvest moon gaze and that's only because harvest moon gaze doesn't really last a long time which is such a shame so for me fairy tale does it better only because it's longer lasting but that's just my opinion so in this case i'm actually gonna have to give it to a fairy tale by bath and body works because i feel as though it's a better performer and if you're a good performer you already win in my book so i do think fairy tale is the better dupe for leave by YSL. Now, another popular fragrance that we've all been seeing is Baccarat Rouge by 40. I think every single brand has their own rendition of this scent. In this case, we're gonna put In The Stars, Bath & Body Works, up against Victoria's Secret's Midnight Bloom. So both fragrances are dupes, but it's kind of funny because they both smell so different from each other, but they still definitely have that BR540 um, scent profile. In The Stars is a way more sheer fruity musky version of br540 meanwhile midnight bloom definitely smells a little bit more similar to the original br540 the only difference that i find with midnight bloom is the fact that the woody notes are a little bit different so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna call midnight bloom the winner in this case midnight bloom definitely wins the next category is all about coconut who does the best coconut is it victoria's secret or is it a bath and body works the two fragrances that i'm gonna put side by side are coconut passion victoria's secret and coconut cream pie bath and body works now the vanilla no in here is everything it is sweet oh, it's creamy it's just beautiful very reminiscent of vanilla extract so i do like that now the coconut in here is very tropical it's more of a fresh coconut rather than like a creamy coconut the combination of coconut and vanilla is just so freaking amazing in here it does have like a summery vacation vibe to it so i actually prefer to wear this one when it gets a little bit warmer it just gives me that kind of vibe now coconut cream pie is more on the gourmand side this is like a gourmand toasted coconut type scent very delicious now which one do i prefer which one would i choose if i had to choose only one i would probably have to go with a coconut passion only because i find that it smells really really awesome especially when my body warms up and i like the fact that it's very versatile you could wear this one in the summer months and you could also wear this one when it gets a little bit cooler and i don't find that there are a lot of fragrances that smell like this one now coconut cream pie don't get me wrong is a very unique scent i don't think i have anything in my collection that smells quite like this but i don't think it would be hard to find a fragrance that smells like this you know um but that's just my opinion i'm gonna say coconut passion but i know you guys probably won't agree let me know which one you guys prefer for sure um i think a lot of you guys are probably gonna say coconut pie which is okay it's a very popular scent in bath and body works so sometimes victoria's secret and bath and body works come out with a fragrance that smells very similar and i have a couple of them right here but the first one that i'm gonna talk about is the whole uh, vanilla and peppermint type scent the two fragrances that i'm gonna be comparing for this category 
our Bare Vanilla La Creme. This is Victoria's Secret and Twisted Peppermint Bath and Body Works. I can't find my bottle of Twisted Peppermint right now, so I'm gonna put up a little picture of it. Now, both fragrances smell like candy cane. That's the whole idea behind these fragrances, and they're both so very good. Now, don't get me wrong, Bare Vanilla La Creme is an excellent scent. I've used up a little bit of it, but midway throughout the use of this fragrance, I kind of had to stop because it's a fragrance that unfortunately doesn't last. So even though it smells very similar to Twisted Peppermint, it's like a lighter, fresher, airier version. It's like a refresher. It really doesn't last a long time, so it doesn't really stick around. Not long enough for you to determine, you know, enough about the fragrance. So that's the only issue that I have with Bare Vanilla La Creme, but it's so freaking good. Now, Twisted Peppermint is like what Bare Vanilla La Creme wanted to be, okay? It's sweeter, it's stronger, it's just a bit more exaggerated. The peppermint note, that sweet vanilla note in there is just, it's sticky, it's perfect for cool weather, it's just freaking Perfect. The other day I went into Bath and Body Works and they had it. So if it sounds like something that you like, definitely look into Twisted Peppermint by Bath and Body Works. It smells freaking amazing. So I would say Twisted Peppermint by Bath and Body Works definitely dominates this category. They do that candy cane scent so well. So definitely skip Bare Vanilla La Creme. It's just it doesn't give as much as Twisted Peppermint does, all right? Okay, so we're gonna jump into the next category. If you're like me and you have both Snowflakes and Cashmere by Bath & Body Works and Velvet Petals by Victoria's Secret, you probably already recognize that both fragrances smell very similar with just a few subtle differences, but for the most part, they do have the same type of scent, all right? Now, which one do I prefer? Now, it's kind of weird because even though uh, they both smell very similar, they give off a different vibe, okay? Now, Snowflakes and Cashmere, this is basically all about Caramel Woods wrapped in vanilla cashmere cream. So it's sweet, it's creamy, it's woodsy, it's sexy, it's warm, it's cozy, but it's still very like feminine and girly. That's kind of like the vibe that I get from this one. It's so freaking good. Velvet petals definitely give off the same vibe. Uh, they smell very, very similar. But I'm going to say that this one is just a little bit more fresh and I'm going to say a little bit more fruity floral. There's more of a flair to this one. It's less warm and I would say it's less cozy. I don't know how to explain it, but there are some subtle differences between the two fragrances. Which one do I prefer? Now, this is very hard for me. If you follow my channel, you will know I go hard for both these fragrances, but I'm gonna have to go with Snowflakes and Cashmere. I just think it's um, a more elevated form of this scent. The woody notes in here are a little bit more amped up, and the sweeter notes in here are a little bit more amped up. And I even prefer the marketing style. I like the fact that they use a golden color with the little pink flakes and the little silver flakes. I think it's just more appropriate for the scent. I must say Snowflakes and Cashmere takes the cake for this scent. The next category we are going to move over to is Apple. A lot of us love Apple fragrances and I myself love a good Apple fragrance. Now the two fragrances that I'm going to uh, compare here are Champagne Apple and Honey Bath and Body Works. Well, I really hate to do this, but I decided to make a little bit of a change last minute. So instead of putting Endless Love by Victoria's Secret head to head with Champagne Apple and Honey, I'm going to switch it out and I'm going to replace it with Moon Spiced Apple. Now, Moon Spiced Apple is basically what it sounds like. It's a spiced apple. We have apple, maple, and ginger in this composition, but it's pretty much a basic spiced apple scent in my opinion. It's really nice, but I actually prefer the fresh apple shampoo-esque scent coming from champagne, apple, and honey. So I would say that Bath & Body Works did it a little bit better with champagne, apple, and honey. 
The next category is for those of you guys who enjoy pineapple. Now, the two fragrances that I have here are Pineapple Cove, Victoria's Secret, and here we have Pink, Pineapple Sunrise, Bath and Body Works. These both have a dominant pineapple, fruity, tropical scent. I happen to think that Pineapple Cove is the better pineapple scent, and that's because it's such an obvious pineapple scent like as soon as you spray it out you're definitely gonna get that pineapple it does have like a slight mango scent to it but for the most part you're gonna smell the pineapple now pink pineapple sunrise is good even though i definitely get the pineapple there are a lot more other fruity notes in here and it kind of bombards the pineapple just a little bit but if you're looking for a straight up pineapple scent i would say go with pineapple clove because you're definitely gonna get pineapple when you spray this one plus it's way more long lasting the next category that we're going to talk about is one that i absolutely love and that is a clean fresh aquatic scents now I'm gonna say the best or the most popular fresh aquatic scent out of Bath & Body Works has to go to Sea Island Shore. Sea Island Shore or Sea Island Cotton has been around for such a long time. And I think if you like clean, fresh, soapy, laundry-like aquatic scents, you would definitely like this one. Very simple scent, not a lot going on. But if you like clean, fresh, soapy aquatic scents, you should definitely look into this one. Now, I decided to go with Aqua Kiss by Victoria's Secret to go up with this scent because this is yet another fragrance that has been around for quite some time. It is definitely clean, fresh, aquatic, but which is the better scent? This is going to be super hard for me only because I adore these two fragrances so freaking much. Ugh. Now, this is more soapy and laundry-like than aquatic and i think this is more like an aquatic floral but they definitely are like two beautiful scents but which one do i really really love i think sea island shore is the better choice for me only because it's a stronger scent okay it just does a lot more it performs so well and i like the fact that it smells like clean fresh laundry but it still has that aquatic blue undertone which i absolutely love but the fact that it is so long lasting and the fact that the lotion is freaking amazing and i could definitely layer it with every other clean fragrances that i have in my collection don't get me wrong aquatic kiss is beautiful like i said aquatic floral it smells so good but it really doesn't last that long on me and it doesn't have as much personality as sea island short for the best blue aquatic scent i would have to go with sea island short it's just beautiful now the next category that we're gonna look at is amber now i think Sensual Amber is probably the most popular scent from Bath & Body Works. I know that they recently brought this one back. And of course, Amber Romance Victoria's Secret is an absolute classic. It has been around for so many years and I don't think it's going to go anywhere. It's just it's just one of those fragrances that at this point is like a classic. Both, both fragrances are classics in my opinion, but which one do I prefer? Now, Sensual Amber is more of a sweet, sugary scent. It's often compared to Flower Bomb by Victoria's Secret without the patchouli note. And for that reason, I really, really like this fragrance. Amber Romance is definitely a unique scent. It's musky, it's powdery. You get that um, amber. I think there's also cherry in here. Um, it smells very grown up. It does have a mature vibe to it without being too mature I think anyone any age could really wear this one. There's a slight sophistication to this one Also, I think um, you could wear this if you're going somewhere nice or fancy or something like that Which one do I prefer? I actually prefer to wear sensual amber I like the fact that it's warm. It's sweet. It's something that smells super delicious when it gets a little bit cooler outside and the fact that it smells uh, similar to a more expensive, very popular scent is definitely a plus, even though I think this smells way better than Flower Bomb, but that's just one of the reasons why I really do like this one. And that's the reason why I'm gonna declare Central Amber to be the winner. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I love a good classic 
sweet floral type scent and i think these two fragrances are just perfect indications of what i expect when i'm wearing a sheer floral that's sweet and musky and a bit classic smelling now from bath and body works we have pure wonder and from victoria's secret we have velvet petals golden even though these aren't dupes or anything like that they definitely give up the same vibe they both have a light sheer pink floral scent um they're slightly sweet they sparkle a little bit they're musky and they smell super feminine and so classic but who did it best now pure wonder has a stronger fragrance oh it smells so good and even though it's clean fresh floral slightly sweet it sparkles there's this beautiful white amber note that gives the fragrance a little bit of depth and it kind of keeps it grounded so it's not too fleeting and i like that about this scent so it makes it feel a little bit more perfumey and it makes it feel a little bit more real when you're wearing it velvet petals golden definitely gives off the same vibe but i think what's missing here is something that's gonna make the perfume stick it's a little bit too airy a little bit too fresh even though that's not a bad thing but in regards to performance pure wonder is just gonna outdo it so shockingly bath and body works definitely I did themselves and i'm gonna have to give them this category they do the best pretty girl fragrance so that pretty much does it for today's video let me know what you think about the video let me know what you think about these categories if you are team victoria's secret give me a pink emoji if you are team bath and body works give me a blue emoji okay i want to see what you guys have to say all right guys so i'm out of here i'll see y'all in my next upload bye